first question find the areas of the rectangles whose sides are a 3 cm and 4 cm b 12 m and 21 m c 2 km and 3 km d 2 m and 70 cm so first part is 3 cm and 4 cm so 3 cm is your breadth and 4 cm is your length we can take it anything so we will multiply it so 4 into 3 is 12 square cm is your area because area is length into breadth now here we have 12 m and 21 m we will take length as 12 m and breadth as 21 m so if we will again multiply it when you multiply it it is 252 square meter remember to put the units the unit is meter third rectangle 2 km and 3 km you can take any dimensions that is length into breadth now here we will multiply it is it it is easy 6 square km now last part 2 meter and 70 cm now here there's a problem in units we have to make it with a similar unit so we will change 70 cm into meter this is 0.7 meter because 1 meter equal to 100 cm so when we multiply it 7 to the 14 and we place one decimal towards left hand side so we get 1.4 square meter meter is a converted unit so this was your first question second find the areas of the squares whose sides are now we have to find the areas of the following squares whose dimensions are given so first part 10 cm we know the formula of square is 10 square 10 into 2 so we will simply multiply it this is 100 square cm you just have to keep the units in mind now here again cm it is 14 into 14 it is equal to 196 when you multiply it we get 196 square centimeter now 5 meter square we have so 5 5 is 25 square meter so this was your question number second third the length and breadth of three rectangles are as given below 9 meter and 6 meter 17 meter and 3 meter 4 meter and 14 meter which one has the largest area and which one has the smallest so we will find the areas of the following rectangles and we will find which one is smaller and which one is larger in terms of area so here 9 into 6 is 54 square meter now 17 meter and 3 meter we will make for 17 meter and 3 meter here this is 17 the longest side 3 is our breadth when we multiply it is 51 square meter learn the tables from 1 to 20 for faster calculation c part 4 meter and 14 meter this is your 4 and this is your 14 when you multiply it so 14 4 is a 56 You can also multiply as 4 for the 16, carry 1, 4 means a 4 plus 1, 5, 56 square meter. So you can see when you compare, this is the largest area, and the smallest area is 51, and the intermediate area is of 54 square meter here. This was your third, fourth. The area of a rectangular garden 50 meter long is 300 square meter find the width of the garden now in this question the length is given we have to find the width and area is also given so the formula is length into breadth and we will substitute the given terms in the given formula so 300 as it is for the area 50 for length and breadth we don't know we will write b or we can take x meter as well we have to find the value of x so therefore dividing 300 by 50 when 50 goes towards left hand side it gets divided because it was getting multiplied on the right hand side 0 0 get cancel out and 5 6 is 30 therefore width of the garden is 6 meter remember the units is in meter so write in meters fifth what is the cost of tiling a rectangular plot of land 500 meter long and 200 meter wide at the rate of rupees 
per 100 square meter. So now we have to find the area first of all. This is our land. If we have to tile it. So the rate is 8 per 100 square meter. So the formula of cost of tiling is equal to rate into area. And we have only one thing with us that is rate. We have to find area. Area is simple length into breadth. Substitute value 500 into 200. Multiply 5 to the 10 and attach 4 zeros. So it gives 10,000 square meter. Meter is our unit. And cost of tiling is rate into area. Now we have both the things. We will just multiply them. Now what you can do here is you can cut you just multiplied it and you cut two zeros from denominator and numerator and multiply the rest of the things so it turns out to be cost of tiling is rupees 8000 sixth a table top measures 2 meter by 1 meter 50 centimeter what is its area in square meters so this is your table top, the top of the table and its dimensions are given. That is 2 meter and 1 meter and 50 centimeter. Look here, the units are not same. So we will convert this centimeter into meter. So you know 50 centimeter equal to 0.5 meter. We add it with 1 to get 1.5 meter. Now the units are same. We just have to multiply both length into breadth to get the area 15 to the 30 and attaching decimal to it. So we get 3 square meter. Seventh, a room is 4 meter long and 3 meter 50 centimeter wide. How many square meters of carpet is needed to cover the floor of the room? So again, we have the room and we are given the dimensions of length and width or you can say length and breadth. So length is 4 meter and width is 3 meter and 50 centimeter. Now we will again change centimeter into total meters. So it is 3.5 meter because 50 centimeter equal to 0.5 meter. So we will get this area where the carpet has to be covered. So length into width, simple, 4 into 3.5 gives you 14 square meter. Therefore, 14 square meter of carpet is needed to cover the floor. Eighth, a floor is 5 meter long and 4 meter wide. A square carpet of sides 3 meter is laid on the floor. Find the area of the floor that is not carpeted. So here the scenario is like this. We have this big floor and carpet size is smaller. So when you lay your carpet on the floor, some area is not covered. So we have to find non-covered area. This is covered area with the carpet and we have to find this one which is not covered so how can you calculate it if you get whole of the area and you subtract this area of the carpet you will get the rest of the uncovered area so this is the concept behind the question so area of the floor is 5 into 4 that is 20 square meter units are same here all are meters we don't have to convert it area of square carpet is 3 into 3 that is 9 square meter this is a square carpet although it don't appear to be in this picture it appears to be rectangular so area not carpeted simply subtracting both the areas so we get 11 square meter as the non carpeted area so this was your question number eight ninth five square flower beds each of sides one meter are dug on a piece of land five meter long and four meter wide what is the area of remaining part of the land so this is your part of the land this is the piece of the land and five square flower beds were dug on this piece of land so these are the five shown square beds so each have dimension of one meter so you have to find the area of this portion that is left out so area of piece of land is 5 into 4 that is 20 square meter now area of 5 square flower beds is 5 multiply area of 1 what is area of 1 1 square that is 1 itself so 5 into 1 is 5 square meter that is the area of all total dug beds now area of remaining it is simple as 
was in previous case total minus the dark portion so it is 20 minus 5 we will subtract both the areas and we get 50 square meter as a left area which is undark. 10th by splitting the following figures into rectangles find their areas the measures are given in centimeters so whatever the number is written it is in centimeter units so we can divide it in following colors by making vertical lines similarly another figure third figure fourth figure so we will calculate their individual areas and add them to get the total area so this is your green portion and this is your red this is your blue and this is yellow similarly we have done in another picture so let's find for the first part so it is 4 in length and 2 is breadth because total was 3 so it is 4 to the 8 square centimeter now red portion now here this total height is 4 plus 2 so it is 6 and 1 is your breadth why because 3 minus 2 gives you 1 so this is your left out so 6 into 1 is 6 square centimeter now this blue portion how we get 2 we get 2 because this total was 3 and this was from the previous explanation it was 2 and how we get 3 3 is given to us therefore it is 6 now yellow part 4 into 2 this total was 6 6 minus 2 is 4 and 2 is simple you have to just subtract 4 minus 2 to get you 2 as you can see here this is 4 and this was 2 therefore 4 minus 2 is 2 therefore 8 square centimeter when you add it it is 28 so 28 square centimeter is your area for the first figure now here we have drawn two vertical lines to separate it so we got two symmetrical that is same therefore we multiplied it with two if we get one we can get for the other so first is three into one it is very simple given so twice it gives you six square centimeter for the yellow portion now for this portion the total length was five and it is given three so you multiplied three into one how you got one because this is total height is three this height is three and subtract two with it we get one so three square centimeter when you add six plus three gives you nine square centimeter for your second figure eleven split the following shapes into rectangles and find their areas the measures are given in centimeters in the same thing like previous you have to separate them now first part can be separated like this the color representation makes the figures separated for the first part 12 is your length 2 is your breadth so 12 into 2 is 24 square centimeter because all the units are in centimeter now here it was given red as 8 into 2 it is 16 square centimeter when you add it 6 4 is 10 carry is 1 2 plus 1 is 3 plus 1 carried was added to give you 40 square centimeter now here we divided into such representation so green portion 21 into 7 it is 7 plus 7 plus 7 7 3 is a 21 is your length and 7 is your breadth so it gives you 7 1 is a 7 7 2 is a 14 that is 147 square centimeter now for the other color or the other region if we find one we will multiply it with 2 because these are similar so 7 into 7 for the 1 and into 2 gives you 98 square centimeter when you add it you get 245 square centimeter for the whole figure now here we have divided it as T the letter T of English alphabet so 5 into 1 it is simple 5 square centimeter and for the other portion 4 into 1 that is 4 square centimeter now when you add it it gives 9 square centimeter as your area for the complete figure that was your 11th 12th how many tiles whose length and breadth are 12 centimeter and 5 centimeter respectively will be needed to fit in a rectangular region whose length and breadth are respectively 100 centimeter and 144 centimeter 
70 centimeter and 36 centimeter so this is the tile you have to cover it in both the given rectangles it has dimensions 12 into 5 so 12 5 is a 60 square centimeter is the area of one tile now we will find the length of the regions on which we have to cover this tile so first one is 100 centimeter 144 centimeter units are same so what we can do we will multiply it multiplication is very simple now for this part how we can multiply it 144 just write 144 first and attach zeros to it so it gives you this much square centimeter now for this 70 into 36 just multiply 76 of 42 and 4 is carried 73 is 21 plus 4 25 so it is 2520 square centimeter or 2520 square centimeter now we have calculated areas now tiles required will be total area divided by area of single tile so 0 0 cancel out and 6 to the 12 2 is remainder 24 so 6 4 is 24 so in this way you can do it fast without actually dividing it in the long way the so 240 tiles in first case and now second using same thing dividing total area by single tile area 0 0 cancel 6 4 is 24 one was remainder so we have to divide 12 to 6 to the 12 so 42 tiles for this second part this was the last question question number 12